officer. I'm Christopher Hemrick, the first health officer for the Clearwater Forest area. And what we're doing here today is uh, going to be doing what we call our value surveys. And really what it is is a, is a population forecasting tool. Uh, we, we do this survey to determine the mortality of uh, the beetle brood over the winter. So everybody's heard of the, the 90% uh, or predicted 90% um, mortality rate from the, the Canadian Forest Service model. So we're out here just to verify whether that was true or not. We take four discs off, off each tree. Okay, this is a, a line we call a breast height. So it's a diameter. We're going to take the diameter of this tree at breast height. And from this point, um, we take on the north and south side of the tree two, two samples each. Yeah, so the beetle is going to land on the tree. Okay. Um, you know, go through the bark, create this, you know, the tree's going to try to pitch it out the pitch tube there. And then the parent beetles, the adult beetles, move up and down, and the female lays her eggs in this vertical gallery and then the larvae when they when they hatch the eggs hatch and the larvae start to feed this way laterally to the parent gallery. So we would see that here if we had evidence of it. And you don't see and any don't. evidence of that? No. So is that a good thing? That's a good so thing. We're trying to find out whether the winter killed them, right? Yeah. They only live for a year, right? Yeah, right. Sometimes when you take them out of the tree and you warm them up, their legs start moving. We're gonna, we're gonna